Okay, so you can't see much. This is our ride. This is Manon's ride. We're in Suratani and we're biking home with, on this. With no brakes. <laughs> no brakes, but we don't need brakes. We're in Suratani, it's okay. We're going back on our rides. We had to find a restaurant and now we're going home. Home in Suratani, not home to Nancy. Okay, Manon, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, everything is so much more beautiful in the oh sun. Gosh. Look at this color, Mano. It's so beautiful. People think that it's super cold because you're still wearing a hoodie and <laughs> pants. It's not that cold. It's not cold at all. <laughs> Good morning from Kosamui. We got here two days ago, actually. But we had some issues in the beginning. It was literally, it wasn't even rain, it was just pouring and the sky was like all white and it was super cloudy and it, I mean it really sucks because that's not why you come to the islands. And the weather in Bangkok when we left was amazing, it was like blue sky and sunny and then you know we made it all the way south to be at the beach and yeah, it was raining. But likely this morning we woke up and it's sunny again and I'm chilling now at our little like balcony. It's not a balcony because we're like outside on the ground floor. I don't know how you call it. I have my book about Thailand. We went to the bookstore in Siam Paragon just before we left to buy some books so we can chill by the beach and read and you know just relax because we had so much stress lately like you know no I'm kidding we didn't ha not have that much stress at all this semester like I mean we did go to school and we had to do homeworks and we had a lot of group works and exams but still, uh, Bangkok just felt like one big holiday. I literally felt like I was in ho on holiday for the last... Is that the entrance? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> I literally felt like I was on holiday for the last like five months. Living in Thailand, like, even though you have to go to school, you still feel like you're on holiday. And it's such a like chilled lifestyle. And Thai people are just like way more relaxed and calm and they're not stressing out all the time. I feel like our culture, like Western culture, is way more like stressful and we need to hurry all the time and stress out. I'm here with my roommate Manon. I don't know if you can really see. No. Or actually, Manon is not my roommate anymore because we don't live in Bangkok anymore. But yeah, we used to be roommate for the last half a year in Bangkok, and Manon is currently at the beach, and I'm about to join her because I need to take advantage of this beautiful weather and beautiful Kasamui because I think actually it is a really beautiful island, and we didn't really have a chance. To experience that yet although the sunset yesterday oh I didn't take my camera and my phone died because yeah that's like that's what always happens when um, you have something nice to film but we have some pictures it was honestly one of the most amazing sunsets I've ever seen just made it to the beach look ah, finally time to relax I'll have to find Manon where is she Dragon fruit is literally the prettiest fruit ever. Do you feel like we are over? If not, let me close it. To say that I want you. Come a little closer. How freaking beautiful is Thailand? This is literally amazing. this country so much. Imagine how freaking amazing it is to live in a place like that. I mean Bangkok is a little different than this but still pretty awesome as well. Posing underneath a palm tree. Look at these coconuts. There are so many. 
I want one. Fresh coconuts are like one of my favorite things about Thailand. I actually have a funny life story with a coconut. So my cousin and I, we found a coconut once at the beach at Dominican Republic and I was six and she was the older one she was seven she was 11 months older and she told me that it's a dinosaur's egg and I believed her because she was older so then we were taking care of this coconut because we hope that a dinosaur dinosaur how do you call it yeah you know what I mean would come out of it but unfortunately nothing came out of it Hi Tesco! I'm so excited! I know, me too. Savalika! I know, it's so good, but I took the big one. Yours looks really good as well. I look like crap right now, but it doesn't matter because I have some really deep thoughts that I want to film. At least I'm tanned, so it's not that bad. We are on the ferry from Koh Samui back to the mainland and back to Suratani. Getting from the islands back to Suratani is always such a hassle. It's not that far, but you just have to take like 500 different forms of transportation. I'm just watching the view, beautiful Thailand. And I'm thinking how freaking lucky I am that I chose to come to this country, that I didn't listen to other people because many people didn't understand my decision. Thailand is usually associated with a country for holiday, for backpacking, for partying and lying at the beach and not necessarily studying or going for exchange like I did but it was honestly the best decision ever living in Thailand is amazing I can only recommend it Thailand is so much more than a country for backpacking and partying at the beach there's really so much more to this country and it's so freaking beautiful living in a place like this it's just incredible it's something that I will remember for the rest of my life and I will be always so grateful for this experience I'm trying to speak really slow because I'm trying to actually say everything that I want to say I don't even, I don't even know what I want to say but I just like want to say something you know like I want to I don't know 